Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to the show. I'm Billy, the host. Welcome back to the show. 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 I'm Billy, the host. Welcome back to the show. I'm Billy, the host. I'm joined today by producer Trent Ludzak. Hello. We're in Trent's unnamed studio with the AC running. Got to. And we're joined by our special guest today, Mr. Zach Adlock. What's up? What's What's up? up, Thanks for having me, guys. All right. Zach is a stand-up comedian. Uh, Where are you from? I'm originally from New Jersey. Yeah. That's right. I kind of moved around a lot. I was actually born in Atlanta. I lived here for like two months, and then we moved up north to Jersey. Yeah. So is it like, would you rather pump your own gas or? Uh... Dude, it was, it was amazing. As a kid, we had this local guy, like the local pump was this big guy who looked like Santa Claus. Nice. And so I was just like, we went on a family vacation in like North Carolina <laughs> once. And I was like, where the hell is Santa Claus? And yeah. why is dad out of the car? Like, he's not supposed to do that. But oh, that's no, sad. but yeah, it was weird. Like, I do remember being kind of like a young kid and seeing that. But yeah, you from like the Jersey Shore? Not really. Actually, like I, I barely ever even saw the shore. So you never like tanned yourself and spiked your hair. Up I, and... I didn't do that. That got big when I was like in the eighth grade. <laughs> and I, I gotta tell you, it did have like a social influence <laughs> on my peers. You know? Really? <laughs> yeah. Like interesting. The show came out. I was, I was going to school with a bunch of normal people. Jersey Shore comes out, right. and everyone turns into a douchebag. I'm like, guys, we were fine before the show. <laughs> so yeah. Um, like the most we had around here was like kids who would dress exactly like Eminem. Yeah, yeah. They would have the blonde hair and the slicked down with the big white t-shirt and yeah. the baggy jeans, like Slim Shady. Slim Shady, man. <laughs> Good time. Not- we had a bunch of Slim Shadies running around. Yeah. I remember just like uh, like the early 2000s fashion statements of like, you know, that classic star tattoo and the frosted tips and stuff. <clears throat> yeah. I'm, yeah. I, I look back at like old childhood photos and I was like bull cut and big ass Jinko pants, like big ass cargo yeah. pants and stuff. It was a vibe. The, the scene queens. Yeah. They're still, they still kind of exist, but it's different now. It's like, it's like a, a watered down scene queen. I don't even know if it's watered down in- it's just different. Maybe it's more accessible. It's more like they're they're not really dressing like scene kids. They're dressing like Billy Eilish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's more like right. tie dyes and less like uh, studs. You know. My wife was at the Fall Out Boy concert last night. You know, I, I married a scene queen. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, there you go. They're kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was what got me into it. Like, uh, I went to a couple shows. I saw the type of girls who were hanging out there. I was like, I've never seen cute girls like this. I've never seen pants that tight. And I was like, <laughs> I'm going to start. I'm going to keep going back. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm depressed and sad, too. I also hate my yeah. parents. I'm going to come out here. Dude. Yeah, you know what? This town does suck. <laughs> yeah, Screw it. Yeah. My parents don't understand me. Yeah. Well, I used to hang out... Uh, at this venue called Swayze's and they would do all kinds of like they had a punk rock prom where they would <laughs> they would vote for a scene king and queen all right and one time <laughs> who was wearing more makeup the king or the queen <laughs> good question yeah. i wish i could remember one time we all voted for my drummer to be the king or queen i can't remember and then uh, the cone was his partner. The cone, yeah, the orange cone outside. <laughs> and we just we just filled the box with ballots. <laughs> like, I want the cone to be the the queen. Because it because it wasn't like we were in actual high school where there was a real prom. It was like a bunch of twenty year olds. Yeah, <laughs> that's like the equivalent of writing Mickey Mouse in the the presidential ballot or something. Yeah, voting for yourself, Kanye. <laughs> Yeah, Kanye had a shot. That was scary. Seven. He still does. <laughs> I would vote for seven, but I feel like... Oh, seven? I thought you, I thought you were saying he had seven shots. I'm like, I don't get that reference. Yeah, I'd vote for seven. 
I, I want. Seven I don't want Seven as a runs. president. I want him as a general. I would follow him into battle. You know, like Kanye. I don't know. I you don't, bring the drum line back it depend, to battle. <laughs> yeah. It depends on why we're going to battle. If we're going to battle because of the entertainment industry, like no thanks. The writer strike. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They should have elected Kanye president. Like, I don't think he could have been president of the United States, but he could have made it as president of the of Screen a, Actors Guild or yeah, something yeah. like that. President of an HOA, you know? I mean, yeah. <laughs> then you're screwed, dude. Kanye's yeah. running the union. Like, <laughs> watch out. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to jump through those hoops. Yeah. <laughs> you think the um, the writers and the actors going on strike are uh, just a bunch of crybabies, really? I, uh,. I got mixed emotions. Not going to lie. I, I don't have... I'm not very educated in this whole thing. Do you think they should just pull themselves up by their bootstraps? Just square up their shoulders. And <laughs> Learn to code. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. here's an idea. Why don't you buy a suit? Yeah. yeah. Put on a tie. Work a hard day... A hard day's labor for once in your life. Before you start complaining to me, I used to have to walk up a hill to and from work. With a butt plug in my ass. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. No, but that seems Jersey specific. <laughs> I had to walk. Hey, we did that all the time. <laughs> I had to walk to work uphill both ways because I would sleep behind the dumpster of the subway on Wednesdays, and then I would sleep at the dumpster at the Must Ministries on Fridays. It's gonna diversify. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So don't complain to me about. We need more money. In Jersey, there's like, you know, there's a Dunkin' Donuts on every corner, right? That's just kind of the big thing. And my older brother at one point was working there. And after every shift, he would bring home like a bag, a garbage bag of just bagels, of day-old bagels and donuts. And we all got so fat, <laughs> but it was good, dude. <laughs> yeah, I had a buddy uh, who would do that. Yeah, he would grab a whole trash bag full of donuts from Dunkin' Donuts. That's the way to do but it. That isn't that really all the North is, is just long stretches of donuts. land between Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, pretty much. Some, it's not a whole lot of land between them, though. They're, they're everywhere. It feels like there's as many Dunkin' Donuts in the Northeast as there are churches in the South. Yeah. You guys got some... Well, you, I've been here for almost two years now, but there's there's way too many... That's, just, that's not a good way to put that. <laughs> there's way too many religious people. No, the, <laughs> it's like uh, there's just so many diverse kinds of churches down here. I've, there's a church kind of by my house that's attached to a barbecue place. Yeah. It's called Praise the Lord. And that's not a bit. That's that's real. That's the Lord, man. That's, that's, the, that's the Lord. That's Chick-fil-A. <laughs> if I'm going to listen to a preacher, I want him to, you know. There's a big church. <laughs> not have... Big old titties if he's a dude. <laughs> There's a church around here, um, and the pastor's name is Creflo Dollar. And he's very flashy. Crumpled up dollar. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like strange that it's a big mega church type of deal. Yeah. And his name is Dollar. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Kenneth Copeland kind of situation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Goblin King. <laughs> oh, dude. I think I looked it up. There's more churches in the South than there are gas stations. Seriously. Which is weird to think about, right? Because everybody you know gets gas. And maybe we live in the city, but not everybody I know goes to church. Sure. So what What are they for? Yeah, I got to go to QT a Ooh, couple, three or four times a week. I, you know? <laughs> How is there so many of them? Yeah, you got to go to QT like every other day, man. What if yeah, What if you set up a, a church gas station and it's the nicest gas station there is and they have, they have church services like every 15 minutes? I wouldn't be surprised if Bucky's has that. And it's super nice. Yeah. You would convert a lot of people to Christianity because you got to so. go to the gas station all the time. Why does it have to be Christianity if it's in a gas station? Maybe we worship the gas, man. <laughs> yeah. When it boils down to it. Yeah, it's all about that gas. It's <laughs> George W. Bush would be like there. <laughs> Oil and gas. Think about the future, too, if you could harness the power of a gas giant planet. It'd be That's like, you think about 
You think about people fighting over resources now. Think about the idea of an entire planet of gas. Yeah. Have you seen? I've seen this like uh, like I don't know if it's a BuzzFeed article or something. It's like oh, this asteroid is made up of like you know five times the max amount made of up diamond of money. or yeah, just made up of cash, cold hard cash. It's like did the dinosaurs just get pinged with? Think about how <laughs> much a billion damage. dollars. <laughs> if the, the if humans reach like galaxy level scale, think about how much damage we're gonna do oh, across yeah. the galaxy. Nothing's gonna be worth a thing. You know what I mean? It's it's we're gonna go. not the people you want to make it. To, it's yeah. gonna be so cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna own a couple of moons of Saturn. <laughs> I'm just going to set up there. My I don't. Hang. I genuinely, I don't think we're the species you want to grow to the galaxy scale. You got a better idea? You got a better species we're, out here? We're too evil. Yeah. <laughs> we're too selfish. Yeah. yeah. Should we start helping a different species to get to space? I think that's a good like, idea. Be like, hey, dogs, uh, like hey. kangaroos. We tried kangaroos that. Are all, well, no, kangaroos are messed up. They'll come up to you with their jack muscles and try to beat your ass over some petty yeah, shit. Right. You know, like, yeah, I think a dog is a good choice. They'd be worse than us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're like, yo. What's up, Neptune? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm jumping here, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, lay off. Dude. <laughs> you could do cats because they would just assassinate everybody so we can show up 50 years later. Um, I would do that for the cats. And be like, good kitty. Could you could you imagine a cat trying to be on time to a job or something? <laughs> <laughs> it's like they're, they're, uh, they're if the job is killing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Space assassination. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, not even that because when there's like a bug in my room, they don't ever kill it. They, they just, just mess with it. They just yeah. They, they give it a good story. They torture. It. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I could kill you at any moment. Yeah, that bug comes home. He's like, "Honey, I'm sorry, but that I, I got caught up. That shit was crazy." Dude, it's like they're like street bullies, man. Yeah. When a bug shows up, they're like, "What's up? What's up, man? Lunch up, money, little, man. Little man." Yeah, I just want you to know <laughs> that I'm so disinterested in killing you. I'm gonna get you halfway there. But lizards, they just kill them. What? What do they? Or what kind of issues do they have with the lizards? They taste good. They look good. Did you know that if a, <laughs> did you know that if a, a cat eats a lizard egg, they'll get something? I think it's coccidia, and it's like the cat will just like have bad diarrhea. I had that in college one time. Coccidia? Yeah. You uh-huh. had coccidia? Yeah, I hooked up with this chick named Diamond. <laughs> she gave you coccidia? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds worse than an STD. <laughs> no, <laughs> she gave no, you. I'm you joking. hooked up with a girl. She gave you diarrhea. <laughs> Uh, yeah, same thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do lizards lay eggs? Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> do lizards eat? Cat and lizard eggs. So, so type oh. in cat eats. What happens if a cat eats a lizard egg? What <laughs> <laughs> type that in? Cat and lizard Fuck you, I'm not Jamie. <laughs> well, let's see. Maybe they have like a hybrid cat I say and lizard if, creature. I say if I can type the keywords of your theory into Google and nothing like what you said You're missing up, a key. You're missing the word eat. That's <laughs> 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 like... <laughs> uh, okay, but I'm wondering what kind of beef that cats have with lizards that, <laughs> that they don't have with bugs. I don't know, man. I think it's like it just the way a lizard moves really tickles the predator instinct. They Maybe. hold still as hell, and then they jiggle for a second, and it's just like it's like a fish lure. That's that'll attract the bass. You know? Yeah, true. Lizards yeah. will like they'll move quickly too. So maybe the cat is yeah. just like kill them out of out of haste. They just like, want it. They just done. Uh, uh, it says that they can get sick from eating a lizard. But nothing about the eggs. Are you kidding me? My my cat had worms in her butt before. Yep. And don't worry, I'm showing the audience so they can see that you're wrong too. <laughs> well, I hope the comment section comes in for my defense it? here. Too. Do you guys all see it? Okay. Did you? What did you? Cat and lizard eggs eat? Oh, you put eat on the tail. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if I was looking up like a recipe for like. How to make a chicken Alfredo, I'd be like, pasta, white, sauce is on plate, eat it. (laughs) How? How do I do that? That's pretty low effort. It has the keywords. Nah, you're all right. It's all right. I'm going to send you a link later. I think that's how Trent thinks, though. Those are the... 
Are you dyslexic? Uh, at most of the time, except when he's writing comedy or reading Dune. Yeah, no, I'm just stupid. <laughs> Cat right and lizard eggs. Eat. Eat, <laughs> Eat them up. <laughs> hey, you told me to add it, so I added it. No, I appreciate that. That's some Yoda speak there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lizard eggs. Eat them. That's how the, the mind is a beautiful thing, Zach. Yeah, it is. It's a jigsaw puzzle. How we put the pieces together is all different. So you say you moved to Atlanta for, like, family? So I, uh, yeah, I was in Idaho, and my wife, I met my wife up there. Why would you leave Idaho? Oh, there's so many reasons. (laughs) Why would I ever be there in the first place? It's beautiful. Yeah, it's okay if you like to catch fish, but you get, like, two months out of the year. You never thought about being a farmhand and wrangling some... No, no. (laughs) <laughs> my back hurts if I have to pick up my own pants uh, when I'm taking a dump. I'm not trying to work for the rest of my life. Yeah, that's why it's called broke back mountain. <laughs> yeah, that's the yeah, only you, reason. You never thought about yeah. taking a fella up the mountain, but but I think like there's we all think about it. There's something to like the the grand, uh, like the mountains and the landscapes and stuff that really like. Oh, it's pretty. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's definitely pretty. Yeah, no, but. I I would have to scrape the ice off of my windshield up to five times a day, right? Like, this is not a way to live your life. I would have to wake up, and I was a good husband, so I'd go out and scrape my wife's car's windshield, and she'd go to class or work first or whatever. I'd go back to bed for 40 minutes, come back out and do my car. And it's just, I, I can't live like that. That's, that. that's too much. But no, so yeah, we met out in Idaho, and then she's from here. And then uh, we got hitched, and she wanted to come back here. I was just happy to be back on the East Coast. Well, think about it like this: like you just you just waited out, man, till global warming comes along, yeah, yeah. and then you got prime real estate. Oh, it's like yeah. Miami. Yeah, man. the housing's cheap. Miami, the potato fields—they just come out of the ground as French fries. They're all they're all yeah, already dude. baked. <laughs> Yeah, like once all that snow melts and there is is no snow anymore, now you got paradise. Exactly, dude. I guess I should go back. Yeah, uh, you know, I feel like Atlanta is kind of, there's not a whole lot of nature. There's a little bit. You're in the foothills. You can travel a little bit north and go to the mountains or you can travel to the uh, the beach or something at like five, six hours away. Yeah. But Have you overall, ever been to Idaho? No. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> uh, they got a lot of shit in Idaho. Though. <laughs> I know that. You're like a like a, a car salesman who doesn't have a driver's license right now. You're like, you should really check this yeah, out. I've never, you, I never have. But why did you move here? Why are you here? You should have stayed over there. Yeah, in my mind, because I've lived around here my whole life, I picture Idaho as like the promised land. Oh man, I, picture, I feel like only the Irish like Idaho. Yeah. I picture me living yeah, a simple life reasons. of mm-hmm. the farm. and um, I don't want a simple life on the farm, Billy. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> no, I, I have much respect. I'm glad, I'm glad that we're open-minded out here. But that place sucks, man. <laughs> <laughs> it was no good. <laughs> the Tetons, the mountains are pretty, you know, and I did catch some nice little trout. Over well, there you're stuff. comparing it to New Jersey, so. Well, Jersey's not that great New either. New Jersey sucks. Yeah, there's parts I like. You know, <laughs> I was in the northern tip. I live like an hour away from New York. You know yeah. what I mean? But yeah, but no, it's it's nice. I I like Georgia. Georgia's <laughs> quite nice. <laughs> nah, Georgia's cool. There's yeah. some stuff around here, but yeah. I feel like you're trying to like get me to move. <laughs> nah, if I were to move, I would probably go somewhere like maybe Denver. Denver's nice. It's expensive though. Yeah. Yeah. They got a lot of nice mountains and shit like that. Red Rocks? You guys ever been to Red Rocks? I've been like over there, but never to like a show. It's pretty cool. Actually, I wasn't there technically for a show either. I was there for a wedding, but I was, it was a nice wedding, but I was like at the venue. Like I looked down the venue and I saw the whole thing, but yeah, yeah, I got a nice little like banquet area right behind there. That's pretty much what I did. I just went there in the day and like checked it out. Checked it out. Yeah. Yeah. Put your name on a rock. And then I watched the South Park thing they did there on YouTube, and I was like, this is close enough. This is nice. I did it, you know? Yeah, this is good. I put my VR headset on and watched it. Yeah. Have you done that VR where you can, like, check out World Wonders and stuff in the VR headset? You just, like, check it out and see what it looks like? like I have Look in the that. Grand Canyon and stuff? 
I have the the Quest Two. That's what I got. Uh, but I don't play with it that much, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I'm just not into a lot of the games. That's I, cool. I like Beat Saber a little bit, but I don't want to pay for songs. Sure, yeah. And I don't really like it, a lot of the songs that are on there. So yeah, I. Uh, you can download like custom ones. You know that there's a whole community. Yeah, I did not look into it. <laughs> yeah, you could do like the, you know, Dancing Queen by ABBA, whatever you want, man. I will say the porn is pretty good. <laughs> I've never tried that. I actually haven't. I haven't dabbled. You don't need it. <laughs> it's one of those things you try once. And <laughs> you can't go back. I, better to stay away, sort of thing. No, no, it's not an everyday thing. I don't. Think. <laughs> not an everyday. It's, like, it's, it's it's like chocolate cake. You know, not every day. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta count those calories. <laughs> it's like, can you imagine something more terrifying? It's like you don't know who's around, who's looking at you. You know, yeah. it, that's you know, there's some mystique with wearing a VR headset. A headset, you know, you're not secure. It's too intense, yeah, for that kind of thing. <laughs> I think, and you know, it takes a lot of effort to put your headset on, go into VR, <laughs> and then now you also have to like jerk off. Like, <laughs> Yeah. Your arms are getting tangled in the wires. <laughs> you still got the joystick in your hand. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, you're not thinking about what What am I going to do once I have finished jerking on? Now I have to clean everything up. And yeah. Feels- you got to have your eyes to do that, and then you got to put the headset back on to close <laughs> it. This is too many steps, right? Yeah, way too many steps. You got to you gotta think, like, risk to reward, right? Risk, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a diminishing returns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I don't know. I did like, I like some of the more high-end VR systems, like the Steam. The Vive. Or the, whatever, or yeah, the Vive. HTC Vive. That yeah. one's good, too, though. I yeah. had a friend who had that for a while. You'll track, like, all of your individual fingers. Yeah. And that's sick. And I did like playing those. So I think that's where it's going, really. But I think the, like, the standalone quest thing is kind of gimmicky yeah i have a good time with it i i just play a little putt putt on there i play there's this putt putt golf okay. game and i'll like i'm putt putt man it's nice it's just like the real thing but you're like you know on like a tropical island or like in egypt you know you got like kids or anything me yeah i don't have any kids yet i just got some kitty cats two kitty cats okay i got two cats myself oh what colors are these guys uh, I got a gray and... Solid gray? Uh, well, she's like gray with stripes. That's a tabby like, cat. Uh, gray tabby. Okay. Yeah, like a uh, real just kind of classic cat. But <laughs> What kind of color is the cat? You know, it's a classic old... <laughs> well, a, you've seen them, you know. Yeah, it's I kind do. of a white-orange... Yeah, i them, yeah. Kind of white-orange stripes. Like She's got the frosted tips. She's yeah, got yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she's gray all over. So, was well, she's orange and gray? Yeah, kind you, of. You got yeah. a calico, man. Or a tortie. No, no, no. Let me, uh, <laughs> yeah. let me pull it up. If it's orange and gray, you have a dilute calico. <laughs> uh, well, this was, she was in the sun. But you can I fact see. check my lizard stuff, I but I, I, know, I know cats. If you send it yeah, to let me see Instagram. this kitty cat. Yeah, this is a... Uh, that's a real classic cat. Right that's there. a dilute torty or a dilute calico. Does you she have a lot of white on her? find her on my Instagram. I'm trying to see like other. I'm trying to like scroll through and find more pictures, but oh, I'm not. I'm not trying to see your. Through. I'm not trying to see your wiener or nothing, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah. Don't scroll through there. You'll see horrors beyond. Human <laughs> I'm not. I'm not trying to see your pee pee. Look, I've got Ben Shapiro destroys Barbie for 43 minutes. <laughs> you yeah. Be careful where you yeah. tread, or you'll enter dark waters. Oh, no, I don't. I don't have a paddle for that. Dude. Um. Yeah. That. Uh. Yeah. There should be a picture of my cat on my Instagram. But I have another, <laughs> I'm going to show you my other cat that's like a uh, long hair, white, fluffy cat. Yeah, just send me the picture on Instagram and I'll pull it up. Pull up that kitty cat. Yeah, I have a solid black cat and I have a solid gray cat. My solid gray cat has one eye. His name's Captain. That's my other cat. Let's see this guy. Oh, yeah. it's a, That's a flame point Siamese, my friend. Yeah, oh, there's whatever. one. Yeah, there she is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a dilute, uh, a dilute torty, is what that is, tortoise shell. Yeah, don't just make up Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I'm shit, t- man. I work in the cat industry, man. <laughs> <laughs> I work at an animal rescue. Did you know that? No, I, I didn't do. Know yeah, that. I, I'm okay. literally. 
I literally work with cats for a living. Nah, <laughs> yeah. I know cats. Yeah, I know. Trust some, me. This isn't some. I mean, no, I guess the whole cats and lizard eggs thing was a hoax. There's no breeds of cat. There are thousands of different species, and they all come from different dimensions. I know that much. Different portals. Yeah. Different time zones. Yeah, they're like they're like genders. There's not just a couple. There's they're fluid. Yeah, they yeah. can be anything. Yeah. They can transfigure. They can change. They're aliens. They can go from a solid to a liquid to a gaseous. <laughs> <laughs> I know that yeah. much about yeah. cats. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I feel enlightened. I feel like I'm at the gas station church right now hearing a sermon of <laughs> some kitty cats. No, my cats are my best friends. And I, lo- sure. I love my cats. You kidding me, dude? I was real sick. I had a, I can't remember if it was when I had coronavirus or what if I had some other shit, but I was real sick one time and I woke up 103 degree temperature and my big, uh, he's pretty fat. The fat one eyed cat was just sitting on my chest. It's like two in the morning. I woke up and I see him. And I just start crying. I'm like, my man's got my back. Yeah. My wife comes in the room. She's like, are you, what are you crying for? It's just, it's just good to know that he's got me right now, you know? Yeah, my cat trusts me. There's been times. <laughs> yeah, my cat trusts me, dude. You know, that, that, I mean, that man, means he a lot. He's just to laying me. on the warmest uh, spot in the house. Yeah, me. That's what that cat <laughs> yeah. no, I, I can, I can, that, that cat, he trusts him. Yeah. <laughs> And when you know that a cat trusts you and is like, it's magic, and knows in their mind that you're their friend and like, and you got each other's backs, then like, that, yeah, yeah. But then nice. they still try to murder you, yeah. for sure. Yeah. My cats are sweethearts. They they're real nice, though. They're real good. My cats are. They will plot my murder sometimes. Yeah, they'll run under my foot oh, when dude. I'm trying to walk. Dude, yeah. You gotta watch out when you got a kid too. I mean, they'll they'll just lay on your baby. You yeah. know, <laughs> they'll just yeah. they'll just tuck right in on that baby. Yeah, you, know? you gotta keep them away from the baby. I'm yeah. gonna <laughs> I'm gonna hit them with the taser sometimes. What? <laughs> Wait, what? What? <laughs> My cats trust me. Yeah, I'm gonna hit them with the taser. One of the big cattle prod ones. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you know, that you was, gotta let them know who's boss yeah, too. Yeah, that was my yeah. baby shower gift to Billy. A I gave, taser. I gave, no, I gave him a giant cattle prod for his cats. All yeah, right, dude. Yeah, you know, it's you gotta keep them in line. Yeah, I bought uh, I bought it from a guy who was also selling like uh, remote control trucks. You and, guys aren't uh, shitting around right now. You own that? Uh, a taser. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you buy them from the guys who walk around in suits and they have a box with like remote control hey, cars and, buy a and makeup and tasers. See, I'm trying to I'm trying to buy a Nerf gun, an RC car, and a, <laughs> and a, and a cattle prod. You know, <laughs> that's awesome. I'm not no. hating on you. Okay, yeah. I I would never tase my cat. I'm not hating on you. I, know, I, know. I would never tase my cat. I was joking. Here's the thing: I love cats so much, but if these cats are choking your baby. Yeah, right. You know, it's then like, I might taste yeah, it. And then maybe not even hit the cat with the taser, just do a little spark and say, hey, you know, you got to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> like, they hate balloons, so I could get a balloon. Yeah. Yeah, sure. What about like a Walmart I'm going to tie a balloon to the baby. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll stay away from her. Let's get an up situation. Your baby's floating away, dude. I need to make sure that I don't need to go to the hospital. No, we're good. Yeah. Have you told the audience of your predicament? No, if you see me looking at my phone for whatever reason, it's because technically at any moment I could be having a baby. Man, you don't even look pregnant at all, buddy. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you look great. I only put on five pounds. Hell yeah, dude. That's a, what is that called? Like sympathetic weight, right? When the, when the guy in the relationship will just get fat as hell and be like, babe, I got you. I haven't even weighed myself. I don't care. I weigh like 180 right now, probably. Yeah, yeah. So I, you hear about pregnant ladies having cravings, but I, you know, these guys are the ones eating it. You know, yeah. <laughs> they, oh, you want KFC with peanut butter on it? I'll be right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It hasn't been too bad with the cravings. Um, she craved like ice cream and stuff. That, that's me every day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's that's fine. But she's not usually that type. Um, she's not the type to eat ice cream. Like ice cream and even like milk. She's not dairy. She wanted to drink milk. Yeah, not lactose intolerant. I've heard of a lady that was craving to eat drywall. Like it was the smell of a drywall. Oh, yeah. I think I saw that on, wait, like a pregnant lady? Yeah, like she was like, I I, want to bite the wall and eat it. It's like, are you fact-checking that? What the hell? Nothing is sacred. (laughs) I'm only going to say... 
To date, there is no data available to assess potential effects of exposure during pregnancy or lactation. Therefore, the... So you can eat drywall. <laughs> Pregnant drywall eat. <laughs> yeah, you can totally eat drywall, Zach. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Come on, guys. Your, your internet history is going to be so <laughs> jacked up after this. The well, we used to eggs, only eat. use uh, DuckDuckGo, and then that uh, just brought up even crazier results. I s- <laughs> Pregnant yeah, don't woman worry. He's, he's going to fact check you, but we're never actually going to find what we're looking no, for. Yeah, look, I just, there I, it is. No, I want to find a story because that's a hilarious story to me. Pika. Yeah, Pika. You, uh, this, th- it all comes back to cats. Cats well, can get Pika. It, you has, know a, that? it has a... <laughs> I'm <Yeah>. serious. <laughs> you can fact check that all day. I know for a fact. <laughs> cats be getting Pika. It they try to name. eat stuff. They have cravings for a drywall? Yeah, th- it's specifically, I think, a crazing... F- Craving for something that's not nutritious, it says. Yeah, they need minerals, and so they want to eat the wall. Yeah. What does that have to do with cats and lizard eggs? <laughs> no, pika. Cats get pika. Okay. They used to. <laughs> okay. That has nothing to do with li- lizard eggs. They used we to weren't just, talking about lizard eggs. That's 20 minutes if ago. If you were eating drywall, they used to just <laughs> say you were possessed by a demon and then call it a day. Yeah, you know. I'll give you this one. You win. Yeah. All right. Hey, hey I'm, I'm, I'm one and two, one and three. I thought it was one and one, but I'm not paying attention. All right, well, we'll call it one and one. That sounds good to me. Why do you think people, like, stopped assuming that crazy people were possessed by demons? Maybe they are. That might be. I think, uh, I don't know. I think we got, I think we've come a long way with with medications and things, and people are like, nah, some people's brains are just hardwired to be goofy. Even with what we know now that all science and medication is a lie... (laughs) <laughs> we know that. <laughs> Ever since 2020. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> you guys are trying to we corner me. We know that on this podcast. <laughs> you guys are trying to corner me right now. <laughs> what? Those are the facts. So, Zach. Trent can look him up. Mark Zuckerberg is secretly a Jewish lizard man, correct? Yeah. Um, yeah I've gotten in trouble with the uh, Facebook terms and conditions before. You got a, you've got Facebook banned? But I'm very careful with my words. I don't want to. I don't think you're that careful with these <laughs> words. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. Obviously, science is real, but not as real as we think it is. Word. In my opinion. <laughs> yeah, word, dude. You know, you don't know everything. You don't know about, like... Um, I, don't, I don't know nothing. Well, no, Billy's, scientists. Billy's right. Like, I had an organic... Or not an organic chemistry. It was... Uh, cellular biology teacher basically give me the talk of exactly what Billy's saying. Like, he was like, so this slide, there's a bunch of black boxes. Those are places where we don't know what the hell is happening. Right. This looked entirely different when I was going through college. This shit is always changing. By the way, that was the mRNA section. You Mm. know, observation... That was a month before COVID. Mm. (laughs) He ran us through that. You know, all like... So no, science is fake. It's all made up. The points don't matter. You can observe things, but you can't actually really know the the inner workings of the universe. Unless right? you're on DMT. Yeah. 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 We should just do that in elementary. Just we can do it right now. And a little sippy cups, just drop some DMT for the kiddos, let them sleep on the rug and just have an awakening. Come back a more wiser man, you know? Yeah. <laughs> little milk and cookies and, a, you know, some spiritual awakening. Yeah. yeah. I think, yeah. Their brain is like a hard shell egg. You just crack the shell and roll it up and just peel that shell off of their brains. Billy, <laughs> Billy at what age are you going to give your child DMT? <laughs> Every day. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah, a little bit of, <laughs> little bit of boob, a little bit of DMT. Yeah. yeah. It's going to, you know. Well, no, you got to give it to the wife so that she... I'm going to crush up go through mushrooms first. and exactly. put it into the baby formula. You're about to get your baby taken away before it's even here. <laughs> My baby is ascending to the next plane from <laughs> yeah. birth. Yeah. You think they, they, I bet the government has tried that, so. Yeah. Yeah. They're not take my baby. Have you seen Stranger Things? Uh, yeah. You know how, like, they would, like, do tests on Eleven and, like, yeah. her mom was all, like, duped on, doped on the acid? Yeah. Your baby's going to have superpowers. <laughs> <laughs> Your baby's going to be rad. Well, fortunately, Taylor's not, like, into drugs or anything. So, um,. There's not a lot of risk there. That's good. Well, she did. She dabbled a little in the younger days, but yeah, I'm talking if, about if you're gonna give your kid DMT. I'm not trying to 
What if she pregnant craved acid? <laughs> that, <laughs> I, I, I could go for some honey, drywall. Will you go get me some acid? Uh, yeah, <laughs> some, I'm really yeah. craving it. I want some talcum powder and some acid, <laughs> especially like marijuana, because you see Asbestos a lot of women. If you can find it. <laughs> yeah. You see a lot of women like smoking weed while the kid's pregnant, which I think like maybe it's not that bad, but smoking anything I think is bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm not like, a scientist, you know. I would say maybe some edibles aren't so bad. It's probably not going to do anything, but smoking like a blunt is probably not a good idea. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a scientist. Science isn't even real. <laughs> <laughs> now you're getting it. Yeah. I'm do th- you, so do you, do you think the earth is flat or what? I think it's pretty round. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they want you to think. Who's they? Them. <laughs> them. <laughs> they, them, yeah. wants me to think that? <laughs> what kind of podcast is this, Billy? <laughs> yeah. I they, you. them's out here wanting you to think the world is round. I got you now, Zach. <laughs> yeah. What, uh, so you worked in the animal rescue? Yeah, I still do, yeah. Okay. That's, yeah. that's got to be a tough job. It's uh, it's got its ups and downs, you know. A lot of good stuff happening, but you know, a lot of mental illness happening. You One know? time, a lot of people that are crazy wanting uh, ten animals and stuff. One time, a veterinarian um, told me my cat had diabetes, and she didn't, and almost killed her by injecting her with insulin. That's not cool. <laughs> Did you get a lawyer? No. Yeah. Why would you give your cat di- uh, insulin if medicines? You know, well, he says she had diabetes. <laughs> yeah, but if, but if, but if, but if medicine's not real, you just said, what was it like 20, uh, 15 minutes ago? You're like, medicine and science, it's all made up. Oh, wow. Well, Billy joking. works medicine the way I work Google. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. want my cat to die. I'm fully vaccinated. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I feel you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah me too. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> your... But I want the right to say all of those <laughs> Yeah, things. no, no. It's good to have the right to say. It. I like, <laughs> I like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, uh, I don't believe any of that. So, did your cat have any like uh, any like reaction to s- the insulin? Yeah, she got all like drunk and then was falling over, and I was like, "Oh shit!" And then she kept so asking th- for more. Then I took her to the emergency. <laughs> she developed a dependency on the insulin. Well, not like drunk, but she was like stumbling, and yeah, I, I was yeah. like scared, dude. Yeah, that's scary. If I, uh, you know, I love my cats, and I, I had dogs all growing up. My family was a no cat zone. I get married. My wife graduated college. She's like, hey, we're going to get a cat. I said, sure. I've always kind of wanted one. Why not? Let's try it out. I love these little bastards. You know, I, yeah. So even if my cat's got like a hurt paw, it's like I'm calling it. I'm calling out of work. I'm figuring out this paw situation before I can live my life. You know, I'm, I'm all, all, all in on these cats. Dude, I was the classic, I don't want a cat. I'm not taking one of these. I'm a he-man. Because my wife's cat. Or it was her friend's cat, but they lived together. Yeah. And um, the cat had a litter, and she was like, my girlfriend at the time, she was like, you got to take one of these cats. And I was like, I, there is no way in hell yeah, I'm I, taking I one I ain't got to do cats. nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't want a cat. I don't want any responsibility yeah. at all. Like, it ain't happening. Yeah. And then... I finally took the cat, and now it's like... Game over, man. Yeah. And it was just like... That was where it all changed. Dude, man. if I had to feed my cat through, like, lactation or, like, baby bird, mama bird style, <laughs> I would do whatever it took to make sure that my baby gets its nutrients. Yeah, luckily, <laughs> luckily she likes to eat the same thing every day. Drywall. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I had rats in high school. She eats her own yeah. shit, and then she vomits it up. Every day. He eats the, the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Consistency is key, you know, yeah. He's in a grocery <laughs> shop for that. <laughs> wet wipes. You just buy a lot of wet wipes and clean the damn floor. No, I give them the, uh, the dry food. They love that shit. What brand? The Rachel Ray one. All right. I don't know. Yeah, my cats are on that science diet. And my black cat, he gets uh, chronic... PP hurting. He's got a UTI. Is his weenie okay, always hurts. Yeah. So we got to buy him the fancy uh, no wiener hurt food. Okay. Yeah. How do you know his wiener hurts? <laughs> Did he tell you that or something? <laughs> no, we took him to the vet once because he was all acting weird and he was trying to go to the litter box like every five minutes. You know, we uh, 
they they just did an x-ray on him. It was like 200 bucks. And like, your cat just has to shit. Like, your cat's really constipated. So we took him back. We gave him some laxatives. He was fine. And then he kept going to the litter box over and over and over again. And so we took him in. It's like, oh, your cat just has really bad UTIs. And he's gotten a couple UTIs since. And so we just put him on this food. It's actually uncommon for a male cat to get a lot of UTIs. So. He's beating his meat too much. <laughs> Dude, my cat would be cranking he his hog. He needs to get laid. <laughs> yeah. He spent seven of his nine lives cranking his <laughs> hog. <Dude. laughs> it's too much. Yeah, sometimes I... I, do they ever go outside or are they strictly in They're all home? inside cats. Yeah, I'm pretty strict on that. I want them safe. I Sometimes I feel bad letting them, not letting them go outside, but it's just so many things can go wrong. It's more, it's dangerous, man. It's yeah. like, uh, you know, I would love to eat 50 pounds of cheeseburgers right now, but I mean, I would get hurt, you know. <laughs> you it's can't. not like a dog where they'll stay in your sight and they'll come back when yeah. you call them. It's no, your like, cat's going to piss off. He's going to find one lizard and just suck him <laughs> up. He's gone. He's a goner. And it's like, uh, you know, too, you know, your cats are going to get fleas or they're going to, you know, it's just dangerous all around, man. So is it a general animal hospital like dogs and cats? And animal uh, hospital? Birds. The, oh, where I work yeah. at? It's, uh, it's just purely a rescue, right? So we, uh, we're one of the largest in the southeast. And, uh, you know, we, it's cats and dogs, yeah. But uh, I don't have anything to do with the dog side. I'm purely the cat side. But. You kill him if nobody picks him up? <laughs> no. <laughs> Be honest. I, I, love, I love the tact. <laughs> so you, you kill him, right? <laughs> I love watching the light go out of their eyes. <laughs> yeah, so that's the best part of the job. Right? Do they you crazy you assholes. <laughs> we don't kill them, man. Do they let you use your own tools, or do you have to? Do you have to use the syringe? You got to use what they have. Do you, you feel like you're being attacked with these questions? I, I, I just, I have a soft heart for these kitty cats. You like, so you, you're killing them, right? I'm trying <laughs> like, to ask, like, what the hell? I'm trying to ask the kind of questions I would want to know if I was listening to yeah. this. No, we're com- we're a non-kill shelter, right? So there's there's plenty of other places out there that aren't as squeaky clean, but you know we really. I mean, if a cat needs six thousand dollars worth of surgery, needs some help, like. We'll dish it out, you know. We we give it. We give a damn, you know. So yeah, yeah. We give a damn, man. Yeah. Uh, so you like cats or dogs better? I am a lover of both, but I'm I'm all in on cats, man. I, you know, my, all growing up we had basset hounds. Yeah. So like a basset hound, this is a dog, right? Yeah. These are nice. You know, they're funny. They're lazy. They're fat. Yeah. I had a basset hound that was like going blind in her old age. And one day, my brother and I were playing Banjo Kazoo in the N64, and we just hear some thudding. We turn around, and the basset hound, totally blind dog, is trying to fit an entire box of Captain Crunch through the <laughs> doggy door. And we're like, "Yo, clean kill! That dog is gonna be dead soon. Like, let let her have it, dude." Yeah. So we just let her go ham on some Captain Crunch. She nice. was like twelve, an old dog, you know. Yeah. Not long for this world. Uh, have you thought about getting a dog? I wouldn't do it until. Um, Maybe I had a kid and he was a bit older, right? But I work, my wife works, and a, a cat, you know, a cat's chilling. He don't yeah. give a rat's ass, you know. But if you have a dog, your dog would get sad, man. That's a, I don't think people who live in, like, big cities should really have dogs. Yeah. It's like, that's not where they belong. I'm not built for dogs. Right they don't, yeah. they don't want to do that. Yeah, that's a step up, you know, in, like, the terms of, like, you know, responsibility to pet ratio. It's like a hermit crab. It's like, did they even drink water? I don't know. Like, like people but, who have dogs in like New York City, like Manhattan. It's yeah. like, where, where are you taking this dog? Where does it go? Your yeah. tiny apartment all day? Yeah. No I, dog wants to live. I like had that. a huge pet peeve in college, right? I had a huge pet peeve. All my close friends were getting married, getting an apartment, and getting a big ass dog. And then like they're like, dude, you work two jobs and you go to school. Like this dog, he's not gonna know what to do with himself. Yeah, that's too much. I think my philosophy is like, if the kid asks for a dog, then I'll think about it. Yeah, well, the kid's got to be a little bit old enough to be able to handle this dog too, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah. it's not like, hey, three years old, take care I want a puppy. It's like, hey, you know, I'm going to use this dog as an opportunity to let you grow up with a pet because growing up with a pet is badass. Yeah. And, uh, you know, maybe once a week you do the walk for the day, right? Yeah. yeah. When I was in high school, I take my dogs for a walk all the time. And my dog, the bass hounds, would get two steps out the front door, and they'd be like, hell no, nah. you're yeah. not my dad. And then they would sit down and wait for my dad to give the dog a walk. <laughs> he, she wasn't messing with me, dude. She, was, she wasn't having me, dude. 
You're not the boss. I'm not the boss. I'm not the alpha. They need the boss to go out These there. dogs are like, these the shots. beta male cuck. I'm not walking with you. I'm not even <laughs> safe with you. I got to keep an eye on you, dude. Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm protecting you right yeah, now. What are we like, doing? Yeah. This is not cool, Let's just man. stay here, play some video games or something. Play some Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> yeah, I love Crash, dude. I keep bouncing between these two cans. I'm like, like counterbalancing Red Bull with Lacroix, and I they're both empty now. You but can I mix keep them together and make like a a, a French bomb, French Jaeger bomb, a French Red Bull. How do you say red in French? Um, Roja. Rojas. Who cares? Rojas. <laughs> yeah, I hate the French, right, Trent? Down with the French, right, guys? Yeah, they're a bunch of... Cows. bunch of hosers. <laughs> Rouge? Rouge. I feel like I should have known that. What's Baton mean? Baton Rouge? Uh, <laughs> red <it>? Baton? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> red Robin? <laughs> red Rocket. It's named after Dog Dick. <laughs> yeah. I love that movie, dude. <laughs> Sponsored by... <laughs> Dog Dick. Red Robin. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what Baton Rouge is about. I think it's about a bunch of people dancing and stuff. That's a lot of movies. You can find that in Chicago. Yeah, you can find that. In, yeah, Chicago. There you go. <laughs> 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 I got the reference and then I walked face first into it. I don't know why I did that. Eiffel Tower, they got that in Vegas, dude. Let's go. Yeah, let's just check it out. We don't need France. Yeah. I like Vegas. I do. I like roulette. That's one thing, too, I do on VR is I play a little roulette, dude. I like smoking cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Have I you, don't do it, but yeah. I like it. Have you seen that video of that kid who like steals his grandma's car and just like thrashes the thing? <laughs> it's like, so do you think you should be punished for all this? I don't know. Maybe a little no video games for a whole weekend. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about my my hood rat friend comes over and he smokes the cigarettes. <laughs> Have you yeah, seen, I seen yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm, I want to do bad things. I want to do bad things. It's fun to do He's, bad things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's fun to do bad things. <laughs> I don't know if we're allowed to watch things. Yeah. It might, it might get not? a DMCA, a run yeah, DMC. I, mean, I see people stealing things from Reddit and making whole YouTube videos on it. They can suck my balls, YouTube. Yeah, eat, suck a, your, eat a dick. Your hairless. Mark Zuckerberg. Freshly shaved. There that kid, yeah. Yeah, this kid's a legend. I, I think about this kid once every four or five months. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've seen this one. Yeah. So let's watch it without the uh, sound does, on. How about that? Does the podcast pick up the audio of this video? Uh, uh, I can no. make it if I want to. Billy, would you go ahead and do like an interpretive dance and explain what's yeah, happening? Yeah, that's a good idea. We're doing like a reaction video right now. Yeah, wow. Oh, no, he did not. <laughs> um, Okay, let's find the kid. Okay, here we go. Worst case scenario, we can hear the video just fine, and it's just us three assholes talking all over the thing. Okay, this is the problem with America. <laughs> you, can't, you can't just take your grandma's okay, car for I, a joyride. Here we go. <laughs> let's hear what this kid has to say. That's what I want. That's what we're here for, right? Yeah, yeah, we're here for that. That's what we did this whole thing for. I love this kid. <laughs> Driving to <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Hood rat stuff with my friends. I wouldn't mess with this kid. I did a uh, I did a like a follow up on this guy like a couple years ago and he was in jail for <laughs> for continuing to do hood rat shit with his friends. Well they did they say do what you love, you'll never work another day <laughs> yeah, in your life. Yeah. Pursue your passions, guys. Yeah, Pursue your yeah. passions. <laughs> and now he's in jail. Which it's not a job. It's Maybe the job. most hood rat thing. Do you have yeah. to work in jail? Because they, they might like, make you get up to something. You might have to like. Is it like prison like modern day slavery? Do they have a prison for animals? That'd be crazy. Like a, it's, it's like for dogs that bite kids. Yeah, instead of putting them down, they just put them in dog prison. Probably. That'd be, that'd be sick. <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine being uh, the guy that like passes out the chow at a dog prison? They tattoo each other. And stuff. <laughs> Damn, like forming gangs amongst the breeds, dude. I would not mess with the German shepherds, dude. I would stay. They probably want me though. I look great for their crew. <laughs> <laughs> it would be the Ger it would be the German shepherds versus the pit bulls, just like in real prison. Dude. Are German shepherds from Germany? Is that where they come from? Or oh they, yeah. Or did the Germans just like take those? No, no. Hey, we dig this. These are our dogs. No, I think they're from there, dude. 
If those if these gang fights are going down, I'm betting like fifty milk bones on the pit bulls every time, dude. I'm like, I'm not messing around, dude. A couple of dash hounds or uh, what are they? Wiener dogs. All the pit bulls are uh, converting to Islam. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm betting on that, dude. <laughs> the only way I'm not putting money on the pit bulls is if they take like a like a vow of silence or a vow of <laughs> anti-violent activity. But yeah. these guys, are, I mean, they don't play around. Do Do you think any animal could become as smart as humans? Like some like dolphins or fish or something like that. that? It, it's got a lot to do with like the ba- the brain structure, right? Yeah. Like there's no way that a grasshopper is like, yeah, let me do this long division or a squirrel is going to be able to be like, yeah, I can operate, you know, a calculator. There's no way. How do we, how, that seems like, why are we the only ones that made it to that step? Like the, it's got a lot to do with motive forward step. Cause if you think about like a squirrel, it's probably been the same for thousands of years, maybe yeah. slightly different from the, the ice age or something, but I bet they had <laughs> Yeah. Squirrels with like they're a little bigger, they had longer teeth. The acorn like that. guy, the, the, yeah, that, the, that guy, yeah, uh, yeah. So, wouldn't it be cool if there was like something else? But I guess that's gonna be the machines, right? The, yeah. uh, the Cybertrons, yeah. I think, I think it's got a lot to do with uh, with motive, you know. Humans are selfish. What's a squirrel want? A squirrel wants to hang around in a tree, eat an acorn and shag, and we're trying to like, I want to do the same. You want to hang around in a tree, eat some nuts. That's why I'm moving to Idaho. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. <laughs> did you say shag? I did say that, man. I haven't move. heard that since Austin Powers. <laughs> uh, British people say it. I'm going to move to Idaho. I'm going to sit in a tree, and I'm going to eat a nut, and then I'm going to have sexual intercourse. Have some shagging. With my wife, which is sanctioned by God. I love that. Like a squirrel. Have you ever? I know we're gonna wrap up here soon. Have you seen that video or that movie? Uh, this uh, King Arthur, the Sorcerer's, not the Sorcerer's Stone, the the freaking old Disney Harry animated Potter, show. not Harry Potter. It's the kid, a uh, King Arthur. He pulls the sword out of the rock, and in the movie, he gets turned into a squirrel. And there's uh, Merlin, the wizard. Yeah, yeah, yeah I seen it. Yeah. yeah. What was it? they made that female squirrel? The sword and the stone. The sword That's and the stone. Thank you very much. They made that that squirrel. Really cute. By the way, you were so close to it that you said the sword and the rock. <laughs> <laughs> you were, you were it like, was Kevin Hart as <laughs> the sword yeah. and the rock. It was, it was the one with the sword. There's and a the sword rock. and a, you know, it's in a, it's, it's in a boulder. And it's yeah. in this boulder. Goes, sword in yeah. the stone. Yeah, it's like a dagger in the stone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, but uh, they made it so sad because that that squirrel, the girl squirrel, gets all sad and starts crying. I don't know why I think about that. But you remember that part? Um, Gut wrenching, dude. No, I don't remember. They turned the girl into a squirrel. Well, yeah. Well, the the little kid turns into a squirrel, and he's out there like in a tree trying to be a squirrel. And then he meets a real girl squirrel, and she's like all in love with him. And then he turns back into a dude. And then the girl squirrel's like, "How could you do this to me?" Oh. <laughs> like, <laughs> that, yeah, that's those are the types of things, man. Yeah, when you're a kid, you're like. Yeah, man, he ruined her. Makes yeah. man, it made me sad. Sorry, I just had to get that, that off my chest. That was probably like the first person she opened up to. And yeah, like, hey, I, I think I love you. <laughs> it's like, hey, I'm not a squirrel. <laughs> That's hard to swallow, dude. But like, I think eventually they'll figure out like the human genome, and then maybe they can make like cat human hybrids, dude. It's over for the furry community. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The furry community, dude. They're like, can you pick it? Is it something you have to be given at birth, or can you just turn into whatever you want at I any think, point? Uh, Batman Beyond had an episode like that where they, they were like gene splicing, and then yeah, yeah. later they could become cat. So it's like, can it, but me as an adult man, could I be like, you know what? Wish I had an alligator tail, I and I wish so. I had some like longer... Snoutage. Eventually, yeah, they'll probably get there. I could see you as a half alligator. A little bit of a gator. Freak chimera. <laughs> I could see you as a freak. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know if I got alligator energy. I'm kind of chody. You know? I'm like short and stocky. I, I needed like a different chody, more, a more chody animal, like a groundhog or something. A beaver. I just want orangutan arms. Yeah, dude. I can see that. 
You can scratch your friggin' like your belly with a wraparound arm. You don't, you know. I would take the the monkey tail, little tail, and, and a little more fur. I already got a little bit of fur, so you got I'll, some fur. I'll get like the you know the monkey, yeah, powers. You could wear a, a light hoodie get in some, Idaho. Get some those. thumbs on my feet. That'd be badass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Take a shower and just hang from the curtain with your feet. I think the tail would be really beneficial to humans. Honestly, man, we could balance on. Hold shit. your phone. You wouldn't need like a harness to do like. Just a, get a big ass kangaroo tail. You can sit back on. Yeah, yeah chill you never on. don't have a chair. And wait in line. Yeah. Hell yeah! I want to wait in some lines with that. It is kind of it's kind of a rip off that humans are like the ones that become, I guess, the most intelligent, and then we don't have a tail. And That's we're supposed to have come from monkeys. So like, Well, there's a lot of different animal parts that are super beneficial. Like if you look at a friggin' owl, you know, I wish I had some some chameleon eyes where I could just, you know, I could park yeah. it or like a halibut and two eyes on one side. You lay yeah. down and have you ever been in bed wearing like a, a hefty pair of headphones and you're trying to watch something you can't lay on your yeah. side and you're a side layer. It's like, you know, some animals got this all figured out already. You know yeah. what I mean? And they're not even using it. They're just sleeping on it. What if we could just take all the best genes from the animal kingdom yeah. and put them in one guy and we'll call him like Tarzan or something. Yeah, I want a starfish gene where if like I lose a limb, yeah. it's, it's coming right back. Yeah, but it's going to hurt so bad every time you do. <laughs> Does it hurt when it grows back too? Yeah, and it'll probably take like weeks to months. <laughs> so you'll have like a dumb stump yeah. with like weird fingers for a while. Yeah, as you look at a picture, this, oh, this is from 2008. I know that because for that entire year, <laughs> I had a pigtail for a left arm. <laughs> yeah. What if what if a woman could get like the the queen bee gene oh, and then like all the people simp for just her. hundreds of dudes want to simp for her. I think that's what Beyonce's got going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it all makes sense. <laughs> yeah, dude. The Illuminati. <laughs> it's all true, dude. It's all true, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got gotcha. you. All right. Well, let's get out of here, man. Let's go uh, do whatever else we're going to do tonight. Hell yeah. Hopefully have a baby soon, either today or tomorrow for me. Yeah. To this, this might be the, the last day that you're not a dad. Yeah. I'm talking to. I hope so. Yeah. But uh, you got anything you want to plug? Um, you just can, uh, check me out on Instagram, Zach Hadlock underscore, and that's Zach, just Z-A-C, on account of I spell it just like Zach Efron, because we're both handsome and full of Botox. Uh, I, uh, I do a lot of stand-up comedy in the city, just like every other guest you've had on here. We're all kicking ass, and I love it, and I love you, and I love Billy, and I love Trent. Y'all are good peeps, so just check me out, man. We're having fun. Yeah, thank you, man. Peace, y'all. All right.